Do you want to develop innovative and successful products? Do you need to improve efficiency and make the right decisions while reducing development time and costs? During this video, we will illustrate the entire design workflow to completely define a new concept using 3D Experience CATIA. Let's see how a typical sports equipment company approaches product development. From ideation to market launch of a new sports shoe named Ginkgo. Imagine that all internal and external players collaborate together to make this happen. Let's look at how they all can take advantage of the social innovation platform. To start the project, a designer needs inspiration, then moves on to the ideation, concept design and refinement phases, followed by final validation with virtual and physical prototypes. This workflow has the added value of referencing a human model. To inspire the design, we will begin by analyzing moods and trends. We imagine what a design brand needs in order to create a new concept running shoe. Here is the design brief of the project. The goal is to identify the final user of the product and the need for this new product. It also contains technical instructions such as create a resistant outsole. With the 3D dashboard, I can explore my favorite sites and pin quick links to it. This widget allows us to store all the content needed, such as images and drawings. We can then share ideas with others. We respond to the design brief by identifying emergent trends in lifestyle and in the sportswear industry to create design concepts. For example, wearable technologies and connected products or the need to create eco-friendly products with new manufacturing processes. Using a mood board, we are able to display and respond to these new trends. At the ideation phase of the project, it is necessary to rapidly explore ideas and concepts by sketching. We first define the overall shape and principal lines of objects. Then, we move to more specific details, for example, a new fastening system. Colors and materials play a big part in creation, so we start to work on color and trim even in the very early stages. We can directly export sketches as PNG files or even as vector drawings. After creative exploration with sketching, we start to create the 3D volume and shape of the shoes with concept modeling. By using Image Chooser and then the Picker, we can resize an image precisely inside the scene. With the manipulator, we can resize the images to match. Once several views of the product have been imported, we use a human model as a first reference. We also import an image of the sole to position on the foot of the human model. When the entire scene is set up, we start tracing the main curves with natural sketch. We can adjust the precision of the curve by increasing or decreasing the number of control points. It is also easy to modify the curve by directly manipulating the control point. It is important to position imported sketches as a reference using a PNG file with a transparent background. To create the shape of the shoes, there are two possible workflows, one with natural sketch and the other with imagine and shape. The first workflow is concept modeling based on a 3D sketch network. To improve efficiency inside natural sketch, we can customize the action pad by adding to it all the functionalities we need. Alternatively, we can create an action pad with the most useful functionality from Imagine and Shape. We also add shortcuts like visual properties, plane selection. This avoids the back and forth between the Natural Sketch app and the Imagine and Shape app, allowing the user to stay in a single work environment. The second workflow is clay modeling on the human model. The human foot helps us to create the shape. We can apply transparency to the subdivision surface in order to see the human foot. Now, we just need to visualize the total shape of the shoe with net surface. By adjusting the number of facets, we converge upon the simplest surface that meets the design intent. To simplify the process, we work in different parts and then merge all the parts together. 
After the concept modeling, the shape is simplified and cleaned to create an elegant network. We use a symmetry on the shoe and adjust the shape for differences between the left and right manually, using the sole as reference. To finalize, we merge the front and the back of the shoe and create the interior shape. When the overall shape of the shoe is finalized, we want to roughly define details and technical parts directly on the shape. To do that, we import a sketch made inside the scene and position it behind the 3D shape. Putting some transparency on the shape reveals the sketch behind it as a reference. We can see the side view of the shoes to ensure accuracy, as well as using the 3D view to check that the result looks good. We then start drawing with sketch on support directly on the shoe, distinguishing the different parts by changing the color as we sketch. Auto matching ensures that all traces are connected. We can sketch on multiple supports, allowing focus on ideas without worrying about the geometry. After defining all the design intent with sketch on support, we start refining the model by adding the detail in 3D. To go from the design intent to the detailed product, we will use the strip drawing functionality. To refine the shape, we use the generative shape design functionalities that are available inside Imagine and Shape. Here, we create various subdivision surfaces to cut the global shape. We add some thicknesses and fillets to the cushion shape. The benefit here is the associativity, which allows the exploration of ideas with automatic update of the results. Throughout the project, it is really powerful to use the flexibility of Imagine and Shape coupled with the precision of generative shape design. For the heel counter creation, we use the strip drawing functionality. Here, we directly sketch on the shape to rapidly create a new surface. Without leaving the function, we create multiple surfaces and merge them together. After this, we apply some thickness with extrusion to give the shape an organic look. We also use strip drawing to create the side straps of the shoe. Using natural sketch, we quickly define the tread required on the sole. The curves will control the tread shape and are easily modified by moving control points. We can find the right shape in real time and also compare various cuts. For the pattern under the sole, we create a surface and copy it. After this, we modify the original shape, automatically applying the cutting variation to the rest. We then finalize the pattern by adding edge fillets. To further refine the product, we have different ways to add specific details. We are using a pattern composed of ginkgo leaves. We can reuse artwork without the contours using the filling of the ginkgo leaf as a mask. The new 3D manipulator allows us to modify, scale the position of the stickers, and directly see the result without leaving the slide human command. When the geometry is finalized, we continue the validation of the design by using a human model as a reference. It helps validate the concept in several contexts, the proportion, the aesthetics and styling, and to experiment the product in specific situations. To validate the product, we create the symmetry of the shoe to make a pair. In conclusion, with 3D Experience Katia, your company can develop innovative products faster and cheaper and deliver products consumers love. All functionality required for the entire design workflow is available on a single platform, removing the problems caused by having to import and export data using multiple tools. It allows the free flow of ideas through social innovation and provides multimedia dashboards to increase creativity and keep abreast of market needs. You can now develop more design alternatives and make the right decisions to launch innovative and successful products. Thank you for your interest in Katia. To find out more, please visit our website at www.katia.com.